Today I'm mostly out on a bike ride filming a video for my other channel, On Two Wheels, which you can check out up here somewhere if you'd like to uh, see that. If you're into mountain biking, check it out. But also I've got this Pentax IQ Zoom 160 point and shoot camera with me. Um, I got it for free, somebody just gave it to me. They didn't want it anymore and wanted it to go to a good home. So I thought I'd bring it with me and take a couple of test shots. I'll probably film several different videos over time and just try to uh, get some good shots with it and see how it works. Just to test it out, got a roll of Fuji C200 in it that's slightly expired, so it's not the best test film for an old point and shoot, but if it works, let's see how it goes. There's these two young trees over here that are in bright sunlight right now and the uh, really dark shadow behind them. So I'm gonna see if I can just get a shot of one or two of those. Um, just test it out, see what it looks like, how it exposes and meters, all that stuff. Be a good test, see what I can expect out of this camera. So yeah, let's give that a shot. Let's see. Actually with the zoom, that gets a nice compression. So let's see what we can get. We'll find out. Maybe it'll be something. Maybe it won't. Never can tell. Oh, that's cool. There's a tree over there that's got a bunch of red leaves popping up on it. Let's see what happens with this. Shoot wide. Oh, we'll do it weird way. Helmet gets in the way. Oh, just took that and didn't mean to, but maybe it works. Let's do one more for a safety shot. One more stabilized. So I'm going to hop on the bike and we're going to head over to the actual lake now and see what we can find. Hmm. Bunch of people. I don't know if there's any shots to be had up here or not. I think it's the wrong time of day to be trying to shoot any photos up here. I like to shoot a photo of that 50s Chevy up there. Looks like a Tri-5. That would be cool. There are some yellow flowers here by the trailhead. Maybe I'll take a stab at those. Yeah, let's see what the close-up capabilities of the little Pintex are. Yeah. Maybe that did something. Find out. Yeah. Pretty handy little point and shoot though. This thing has good quality. I'm really looking forward to trying it on more. Keeping it in this bag here when I'm going mountain bike riding. Just something else I need to do. I need to make a review on this Evoke bag that I've got here. Um, it's been super sweet. It's got a pouch for water. Uh, the camera cube's awesome. The storage is awesome. Like, definitely my favorite camera bag I've ever tried. And I have like five of them. So, yeah. So I've actually just stopped here because I'm out of shape and out of breath. But then I looked over and saw the light hitting these trees and thought, give my shot and some woodland photography and see if I can find a couple of frames in here worth showing to you guys. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so riding down the trail, found this little composition that might work out on the little Pintax SBO. I don't know if it's too dark for it. I'm only running 200 speed film and at 38 millimeters at the wide end of this lens, it might still be a pretty slow aperture. And then if I were to zoom in, it'd slow it down even more. So I guess we'll see what happens here. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> it fired the flash, so good odds that that's not going to come out very good. Now this, on the other hand, if I could work out a composition, this could be really cool. I'm going to get the camera out and see what happens. Might be enough light yet to make that work up here. So I've just had a bit of a wander about here and I got a few compositions tried back here on the sunset. Uh, I guess it's not technically sunset where the sun's getting low, casting through these high trees back here behind me. And I look back this way behind where my bike is, saw this really cool dead tree trunk here. So I think I got a couple of pretty decent compositions anyway. The issue, I think, one or two of them might be exposed well enough, but I'm shooting Fuji Color 200 in the IQ Zoom 160 by Pentax. And I think the light's getting a little low for that slow point and shoot lens and 200 uh, ISO film. So that could be a problem. But I guess we'll see how they come out when they're developed. Um, I'm expecting them to be probably a little dark, a little underexposed, um, but maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised. You never know. Uh, maybe I should have it pushed to stop. So I may do that anyway, because I think that film that I have in it is a little old, so it may need to be pushed to stop. So there's an idea. Maybe we'll just push that to 400, see what happens. Never know. Might work out great. setting here and found a cool shot. Um, we've moved on to another day since the last time that I was shooting on my bike. Came out to Tanyard Creek to continue testing a little Pentax uh, IQ Zoom 160 and yeah found some cool little scene here with some light coming through and gave it a shot. Tried it on digital too just in case. Um, still haven't ran a roll. This is the first roll of film we've run through the Pentax so we'll have to see how good it is. It is muggy and hot and everything keeps fogging up, so we will see. started out as just trying to finish a roll of film to test my little Pintax out. It's kind of turned into a wildlife photography and macro trip, which is pretty cool because that's uh, some stuff I normally don't get to do much. So hopefully maybe some of these shots turned out and I can show them with you on the Sony uh, using the Tamron 28 to 200 and it's pretty cool for this kind of thing.
So now that I've actually had time to come home and see the photos out of the little IQ Zoom 160, I have to say I'm kind of simultaneously disappointed in it and surprised by it. It's kind of a weird place to be. I'm surprised the metering in the camera was pretty accurate. It did much better than I thought it would in that regard. Some of the photos I thought would turn out overly dark or messed up for lighting and things actually made it out just fine. So I'm pretty impressed with the meter in the thing. On the flip side of that, the lens in this thing is definitely not what anyone would call sharp. As you probably noticed in the photos, most of them are pretty soft and it is extremely slow. So at 38 millimeters all the way zoomed out, it's an f4.5. And when you zoom it all the way into 160, it's an f12 lens. So if you're not using high speed film in this camera, it's gonna be extremely hard to get a sharp shot at 160 millimeters. That being said though, this thing is pretty lightweight and it's not terribly compact for a point and shoot, but it did pack very well in my mountain biking gear. So it may be something I wanna pack with me once in a while just to have a cool little film camera with me. The colors that came out of it with the Fuji C200 were pretty cool and some of that's gotta be attributable to the lens, so that's nice. I did get some photos in there that I thought were keepers despite being somewhat soft. So I'm not complaining about it by any means. Uh, so I think it's a pretty cool thing. I just don't think it's going to be a camera that I'm going to end up using all the time. I don't think anyone's going to be rushing out to replace their Canon or Leica or anything like that with the IQ Zoom 160. However, I do think if you can find one for really cheap, it is a fun point and shoot camera and it does take pretty reasonable photos. And I enjoyed shooting with it and some of, like I said, I did get a few keeper photos out of the whole deal. So I can't complain about it. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I've got more content coming soon. Uh, this fall I'm going to buy a whole lot of slide film and go out and shoot the fall foliage and I'm looking forward to that. I'm also planning to test Cinestill's Dynamic Chrome E6 developer on that stuff too. So I'm looking forward to trying all of that and sharing the results with you guys. So. Keep checking in, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and we'll see you later.